The Soryu class, also known as 16SS class, is one of the best diesel electric attack submarines in the world. These extremely silent and highly capable underwater vessels are one of the most important chess pieces on the chessboard in the East Pacific. As the weapon detective, we are investigating the Soryu class, the backbone of submarine forces of the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel before we start and give us a thumbs up if you like our video. To be notified of our new video, please click the bell button. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. We would like to say thank you to our NCO level supporter, Charles McKee. We may say that at first glance, the Soryu class is not sexy as the Izumo and Hyuga class helicopter destroyers or the P-1 maritime patrol aircraft. But the naval warfare has three layers, which are the surface, air and underwater. So the submarines are as important as surface combatants and aircraft for the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force, shortly JMSDF. The Japanese have always known that. As a matter of fact, their long-established submarine tradition paved the way for the development of a good submarine like the Soryu class. Japan acquired its first submarines during the 1904 Russo-Japanese War. Until the Second World War, the Japanese had made important investments in underwater vessels. Their qualities were high, but the Navy had acquired them in an insufficient number. Besides, during the war, the Imperial Japanese Navy used its submarines against the surface combatants of the US Navy, not for the commerce raiding. So the Japanese submarine operations were not bright like the German and the US. Still, the Japanese submarines managed to sink three carriers as well as some destroyers and cruisers. One year after it was founded, the JMSDF acquired its first submarine, JS Croscio, in 1955. She was the decommissioned Gato class USS Mingo. In 1956, Tokyo approved the build of an indigenous submarine, JS Oyashio. She was the only example of its class and was commissioned in 1960. The Oyashio class was followed by the Hayashio, Natsushio, Oshio and Asashio classes respectively. With the Uzushio class, which was approved in 1967, the JMSDF switched to teardrop design. Later, Yushio, Harushio and Oyashio classes also had teardrop design. The Soryu class is simply a modified version of the Oyashio class with air-independent propulsion, shortly AIP. Actually, the JMSDF had been working on such a system since the late 1950s, but all attempts have been far from satisfactory. In 1986, the Technology Research Department of the JMSDF began to consider the Stirling engine. The Swedish Kakums had already been testing the system since 1983. After careful consideration, Japan decided to produce the Sterling AIP of Kokums and modified the Horatio class submarine, JS Asashio, with this system. The trials were conducted in 2003. The result was successful. So, Tokyo approved the building of the Soryu class submarines, which would be equipped with Sterling AIP in the 2004 budget. The first vessel of this class, JS Soryu, was laid down in 2005, launched in 2007 and commissioned in 2009. The complement of the Soryu class is 65 person. The submarine has a length of 84 meters, a beam of 9.1 meters and a drought of 8.5 meters. Its surface displacement is 2,900 tons while its submerged displacement is 4,200 tons. The propulsion system consists of two 8,000 horsepower Kawasaki 12V2525 SP type diesel engines and four 3,900 horsepower Kawasaki Kokums V4275R Sterling engines. Its maximum surface speed is 13 knots, while its maximum submerged speed is 20 knots. The Soryu class can reach a range of 11,300 kilometers at a speed of 6.5 knots. The submarine has a maximum diving depth of 650 meters. It has six 533 millimeter torpedo tubes and it can launch the Type 89 torpedoes and UGM-84 Harpoon missiles. Japan built 12 Soryu class submarines. 
But the last two, JS RU and JS Tor U, do not have the Sterling AIP. There are no dimensional changes between these two types. The teardrop hull design of the Soryu class significantly reduces the hydrodynamic drag on the submarine when submerged. This hull form provides better underwater performance. Also, low hydrodynamic drag means low noise. So the teardrop design allows the long side array sonar to be directly fixed to the pressure hull while making the boat hard to be detected by sonars. Yet, this hull form, which is patterned after the bodies of the whales, decreases the sea keeping capabilities and increases the drag while surfaced. Similar to the Oyashio class, the entire hull of the Soryu class is equipped with underwater sand absorbing and reflecting materials. Also, its sail is tilted to reduce the target's strength, which is a measure of the area of a sonar target. The Soryu class completely reflects the incident sound in a direction different from the sound source. Japan is one of the countries which has invested the underwater noise reduction works the most. During an exercise in 1983, the JMSTF realized that the latest detection systems on the P3C Orions could easily detect the submarines even when it stopped. This was a major shock to the submarine forces and the reduction of underwater noise became a top priority. As a result of these works started in the early 1980s, the Soryu class became one of the most silent submarines in the world. As we mentioned before, the Soryu class has the same basic hull design as the Oyashio class. Yet, there are some important improvements. The Soryu class has an additional room for the AIP, which is 11 meters long. Yet, the submarine is only 2 meters longer than its predecessor. This reduces the volume of the living areas and comfort. We can talk about some other differences. For example, the curves of the bow and stern are changed, the sail is repositioned slightly forward, and a streamlined cover called the fillet is added to the bottom. The fillet also helps reduce the acoustic signature. The Soryu class has an X-shaped stern combination of diving planes and rudders. The previous Japanese submarines had been equipped with a cross-shaped rudder, which consisted of a vertical rudder for turning and a horizontal rudder for depth control. Thanks to the new design, now all four control surfaces can be used both for turning and depth control. This design provides superior maneuverability to the Soryu class. Besides, if one of the control surfaces is damaged, the other three can control the maneuver horizontally and vertically. The Stirling engine works based on the principle of expansion and contraction of gases in a variably close volume. A reciprocating piston element displaces the gas in between hot and cool parts of the engine body, generating a sinusoidal power output on a second piston element, which is coupled to the first one, to drive it as well as the output load. JSRU and JSTORU, which do not have the Sterling AIP, are the first submarines in the world equipped with the lithium-ion battery. The development works on the storage battery for the next generation of submarines began in 1987. Compared to the conventional lead-acid batteries, lithium-ion batteries do not have the danger of hydrogen gas generation. Also, they provide more than twice the energy density per weight volume and one and a half times more repeated charging and discharging. Their charging time is shorter. Yet, some sources claim that compared to the Sterling AIP-equipped variant, last two boats' shaft horsepower has decreased to 5,600 from 8,000. The Soryu class is equipped with the CMO-10 Optronics mast, which does not require a periscope tube. Thus, it freed design space during construction and limited risk of water leakage in the event of a damage. The Optronic mast, also known as Photonics mast, do not need to be located directly above its user, and it requires only a small pressure hull penetration for cabling. The main sensors and weapons of the Soryu class are connected by a LAN, so, crew members can share more data quickly and the common operational picture can be generated immediately. The main armament of the Soryu class is the 533mm Active Passive Acoustic Homing Type 89 torpedoes. This wire-guided torpedo can reach a range of 50 km at a speed of 40 knots or 39 km at a speed of 55 knots. Its maximum effective depth is 900 meters. The Type 89 has a 267 kilogram warhead. 
Now, Japan is working on the new 533mm Type 18 torpedo. Different from the Type 89, it has an acoustic image sensor that can identify the shape of the target and distinguish it from the decoys. The torpedo is equipped with an active magnetic proximity fuse that is also effective for decoy identification. It is also highly effective in coastal and shallow waters. Japan expected to get its first Type 18s this year. The UGM-84 is the submarine launched variant of the Harpoon. This missile, whose range is 124 km, has a 222 kg semi-armor-piercing warhead. Its maximum speed is Mach 0.86. All Soryu class submarines are deployed on the Kure and Yokosuka bases, which are faced to the Pacific Ocean. The location of these bases protects them from an unexpected raid. But they have to go long distances before they patrol on the near seas of China, North Korea and Russia. Actually, the JMSDF generally deploys its Soryu class submarines in the oceans rather than close waters. It seems that monitoring and protecting the western seas are the job for the big surface fleet and land-based aircraft squadrons of Japan. Also, at first glance, we may say that the JMSDF does not intend to use its submarines for intelligence gathering missions. But these observations may be misleading. You know the phrase, there is no perfect crime. But there is a strong counter-argument against it. We can only know the crimes that are not perfect. Until today, neither Japan nor other countries have mentioned the existence of a Soryu class submarine patrolling near China, Korea or Russia. Have they never patrolled? Or have they never been detected? Let's leave that speculation here. The Soryu class submarines have shown themselves at the far seas. JS Soryu participated in the Malabar 2018 naval exercise jointly conducted by the USA and India, but she was in the Pacific Ocean rather than the Indian Ocean. JS Hakuryu conducted joint training exercises near Sydney with the Royal Australian Navy. Most of these submarines participated in exercises near Guam and Hawaii. On October 9, 2020, alongside JS Kana and JS Ikazuchi destroyers, JS Shoryu conducted anti-submarine warfare training in the South China Sea. One day later, she visited Vietnam for refueling. Considering its unique and innovative features, the Soryu class is one of the best diesel-electric attack submarines in the world. It is undoubtedly a game-changer in the region. Yet, the submarine has not achieved any commercial success in the international market, although it was a strong candidate for Australia and India. But the main reasons for these failures are not related to the submarine. As we mentioned in our P1 video, there is a psychological barrier to acquire Japanese systems. No one wants to be the first. To avoid repeating ourselves, we would not mention this and other factors again in this video. Yet, we must add that while Japan wants to achieve success in the international market with this submarine, it also has reservations about sharing the advanced technologies it has developed, which were achieved after years of hard work and big expenses. Also, now Japan began to build a more advanced Taigei class. These submarines will replace the Oyashio class. Maybe Japan would sell the retired Oyashios first to create a market. Sweden did it before. Many countries in the region, like the Philippines and Taiwan, would be keen to accept such a deal. So, it seems that the Soryu class will be used only by the JMSDF for a while. Most probably, we will not see the capabilities of this submarine in real combat, like many other state-of-art Japanese weapon systems. If we accept that the real success of a weapon system is deterrence, we should acknowledge that the Soryu class submarines do their job perfectly. Thanks for watching our video and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up if you liked our video. To be notified of our new videos, please click the bell button. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel.